Today on the Frugal Gardens Gardener, Gardener's Garden, <laughs> we're going to do an update on our Chop Inspired Garden. Stay with us. There's beans all through here, beans all down in here. Beans Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Frugal Gardener's Garden. This is an update on my chop inspired garden. What you're looking at are the rainbow carrots. Originally, all the carrots were in this pot. I use it as a starter pot as opposed to using a lot of different cups and a lot of different smaller uh, containers. It's easier, it's quicker, and now they've gotten pretty well, a lot larger than they were. This is about three weeks worth of growth, three and a half weeks. And what I've done is thin them out. It's what they call thinning. I've taken half of these and gently dug them up and put those in this pot here. So basically you have 50-50. I'm expecting a few of these may not make it. These smaller ones may not make it, which is fine because I planted extra. So these are the rainbow carrots. It is now the first week in July. So these are going on a month old and I'll keep you posted on those. So now we're gonna move over to eggplant. Now, if you recall in the last update, it was an issue with the eggplant growing inside the raised garden. It was getting too much shade and they didn't do well. So as a backup, I planted these in starter cups also about three weeks ago and these are doing great. As a matter of fact, as a backup, I have four of these cups, which means I have eight of these uh, seedlings and I'm gonna put two in the garden and I'm gonna put two in pots like I did the uh, the carrots. So this is graffiti eggplant, just like you see on the TV show that you probably can't find in the store. So this is gonna be a little bit more rare than the, uh, the rainbow carrots. So now we're gonna move on to beets and we'll see you on the other side of the garden. Okay, it's time to check on our watermelon radish and our candy beets. I'm not sure if you can catch this one here on camera, but here's one. These radishes take twice as long as the radishes I'm used to growing. These take about eight weeks. Here's my little sticker here and on the back, 515. This was when these were originally planted. So eight weeks from 515 would be around July 15th. Today is the 7th, so we have another week or so to go before we harvest these. If you remember, I said I planted these in the front because I knew this would be harvested first and these are the smallest so of, of, the, of everything that I've planted. So once these are harvested, I will rework the soil and get in a second uh, crop of radishes. Behind these are the colorful beets. These aren't regular beets. Again, going with the chop inspired theme, these are uh, candy beets. There's a sign around here. Okay, here we go. So uh, these are the beets behind the uh, radishes. They go straight across here. In the back was supposed to be the um, uh, graffiti eggplant in this area here but I have so much foliage and it's blocking the Sun so I'm not sure if I'm even going to put those back there I may just go direct and keep those in the pots in the very back it's supposed to be watermelon uh, yellow watermelon that's what we're going to talk about in a second Now we've come to my 
favorite part of the whole chop inspired garden and that is my yellow watermelons never grown yellow watermelons before I have grown the, the regular variety and again I had to make some adjustments and move this to the other side so these are the vines uh, this one here and this one right here and they're starting to take off I'm going to have to kind of trellis these up put something on those to keep them going off the ground last year I let them lay on the ground along with the cantaloupe and I got some very unpleasant surprises because the uh, critters got into them and ate them from the bottom up so these are going to go straight up this is here temporarily I'm going to put something a lot more secure up and these watermelon vines are going to grow up and that's where we're going to get our yellow watermelons from so today we've covered the yellow watermelons we've covered covered the graffiti uh, eggplant we've covered the uh, candy uh, radishes I mean I'm sorry the uh, the um, watermelon radish and we also cover the uh, candy beets so that's about it for today next week I'll have another update for you and I want to again remind you to subscribe if you haven't tell your friends thank you for spending part of your day today with me this is the Fuga Gardener and I'll see you next time